First of all, this is from an Ikea Meidel bunk bed. So I used the base of the bed to design this custom looking bed. If you want to build this, I'll link the tutorial for you. Um, but it's just a really beautiful bed. It's super sturdy. I, I love that I was able to use a regular mattress for this. This is not a thin foam mattress. This is a twin Sealy mattress. So it's got great back support for the kids. And the color pewter green is really beautiful. It's great because it can also grow with the kids. I moved the ladder for the bunk bed as well. And so this ladder um, is really sturdy. I can even stand on it and go to the top of the bunk. Um, and I love that each kid kind of has their own private space. My younger son was two when he moved into this room. So we added this Ikea Vicar guardrail and it's really great. It just kind of like screws on to the side of the bed. And then I stained these IKEA Fleasat wall storage units, um, just early American. And I think these are super cute. You can store so many things. My kids love to store their books there. Um, and I also um, use these IKEA Scurrup wall lamp. <laughs> I actually used rub and buff on it, so it's originally black. And then I just used like an antique gold rub and buff to give it a little bit of an age texture. And as you can see, this is super cozy, even for me. The builder made this really awkward nook and for three years I just had no idea what to do with it and then I finally realized that I could add some storage here so I hacked an Ikea Billy bookcase. I framed it in there and you can see this on my bunk bed tutorial and then I added floating shelves above for the kids to store some of their smaller knickknacks like they've got their artwork and piggy banks but I think this corner which was so useless became super useful just by adding the floating shelves and the Billy bookcase. I also added a growth chart. My kids love to see how tall they're getting. So we always measure how tall they are like at the beginning of the school year, at their birthdays, and it's just really fun to see them grow. This is such an easy DIY. Let's head into the closet, which was the most difficult to design. So this is the boys' closet, and I think it works really well for them. Before we had a broom knees um, chest of drawers in here, and it just didn't work. The drawers were too big, so in one drawer they would have like pajamas, t-shirts, and pants, and it would all just get mixed up. I tried to use organizers, but my boys are small, like now they're seven and three, um, but it just, it was too much stuff in one drawer, and so it all always get mixed up. So this I find is really good, so I highly, highly recommend having like small, shallow drawers with only one item per drawer, because um, that's really manageable for the kids. So we have like one set for my son Mikhail, and then the other one is for Sean, and of course these are both mounted to the wall. Um, and just really accessible, easy for them to use, to slide in and out really well. Um, and then I've labeled them all as well. So here's the closet. So I've got at the top here, all of their like clothes that are a bit more fancy that they don't wear every day more for like party wear. Um, and then up here is actually the excess clothes that like get handed down to Sean. So I want to have those close by in case you need them. And then again, here are all the organizers. And what I love about these organizers is that they are labeled with a name and a picture. And I think that's really accessible, especially for when they couldn't read. And then I've also got hooks on both sides. So this is great for them to just hang their hoodies or whatever. And um, just guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, not everything is folded, but I just want them to keep it tidy and for everything to be in a drawer. So like the fact that it's not folded perfectly doesn't even bother me at all. And I just noticed, <laughs> isn't this so typical? I asked Mikhail to keep this clean, but I mean, they did a good job today. Um, the last thing that I really like is we actually mounted this mirror. This is one of those like really cheap $10 mirrors you can get from anywhere. Um, and I just, I think it's great. We just mount it using liquid nails. So that's the tour of my IKEA kids bunk bedroom. I hope you enjoyed it. It honestly is a really functional space. It's not always as tidy as you see it today, obviously for your kids, um, but it really works for them in terms of function. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.